Hi everyone, I'm back. It's me again, Ian, with more Audi TT Mark II mods, fixes, and upgrades. In this video, what we'll be looking at is getting rid of some really annoying wind noise, especially when you're going over speeds of 100 kilometers an hour, where on my passenger side, at these high speeds, I'd get sort of like this wind whistling sort of noise where you could definitely feel and hear uh, some wind coming in from the window gap. Now, I have changed my passenger side door before, and so it was probably from this change that I hadn't properly aligned the window gap um, when installing the new door, and so now I've got to fix that up. Now, there are some solutions to this, which you probably have already seen online, and with this solution, I think it's going to be the best one to look into because you're physically going to be moving that window glass, the window glass, up into the gap, into the recess where it should be going into. Uh, that's in a channel in the window frame. So let's have a look and see what these possible fixes are. And then what we'll do is go into the way that I've managed to rectify the situation. All right, so one of the fixes that you would have read about or seen online is to reset the window by using the window switches here. Now, this method did not work for me. Apparently you're meant to, let's do it on, I'm controlling it here on the driver's side, but apparently you're meant to bring your window all the way down, hold your window switch all the way down, one, two, three, four, five seconds, and then bring it back up again. Now this procedure will normally reset your windows to do their um, auto close and auto open when you push the window button all the way up or down but I don't understand how it should push the window back up into its little gap even further um, when that really isn't its function so that fix didn't work for me for fix number two, you've probably already seen this video on YouTube where he has gotten all these little bits of foam and cut it up and then stuffed it into the rubber on the top of the window. Now, I don't really see how this is going to be effective and it seems like a little bit of a band-aid solution to me. Now for solution number three, the other fix is to use these little um, adjusting Uh, screws, I guess. So these little adjusting screws are supposed to be right under here, right under the door frame. So this is the door trim. Uh, and then after that is like the hump. You've got these little seals here. So let me just get my camera to focus a little bit better. There it is. So you can see little seals. There's two of them. So one's there. The uh, other one is right at the very front, right there. So you're able to take these little grommets off. They have like a little cross on them. So they easily come off like that. That's what they look like. And through there, you're meant to stick an Allen key um, and then do your window adjustment like that. I found that too fiddly and I couldn't find where that Allen key slot was. And so this is going to be my way of fixing the wind whistle noise problems that are prevalent on the Audi TT Mark II. 
Fix number four is a little bit more complex than the other ones where you actually have to remove quite a lot of the trim to gain access to the window clamps. So first things first, remove the door trim and then remove the access panel trim on the left hand side where I found the best thing to do is to insert a plastic pry tool into these little rectangle recesses where the panel holds onto the door. You also want to remove the little circle grommet at the very top right. Finally, I've just added some tape here so you can see the adjustment. Now just checking that I've got the right tool here, which is a T30 Torx bit for this little access panel. Now just watch carefully as the door is shut. You can see the mechanism goes up, so that's one of the areas that needs adjusting. Just move the seat back here so that I can have space to work in. So that clamp can be loosened up with a T30 Torx bit. The next step is loosening up the rear clamp and that's a 13 mil hex bolt. And now that both clamps are loose, all I'm doing here is pushing the glass up. Now it's a little bit difficult to show, but I'm reaching in towards the front clamp to make sure the front section's lifted and then also lifting up from the rear and then tightening the 13 mil bolt and then I'll tighten the Torx bit. So while I've got the Torx bit in on the top of the bolt, I'm just reaching in through the access panel and lifting up as I tighten. Now that both rear and front clamps are tightened up, you can see the adjustment that was made compared to the original setting and back to the adjusted raised window. So how does this solution work? Well, let's have a look and see. Sounds pretty good to me and that looks like that's definitely fixed that wind whistle or wind noise issue. Let's have one more look. So I'm definitely pretty happy with that solution. It's fixed my wind noise issues and I hope it helps to fix yours. Definitely let me know how you go if you've tried every other solution and go in with this one. Hope you like my content and if you want to see more Audi TT Mark II mods, fixes and upgrades, click on the playlist on the right. Until next time, bye.